in our country, I just use this as a gross example. It's always easier to pick on a, a country somewhere else. But the very fact that racism was not seen as a major or central gospel issue till the late 1960s is an absolute judgment on the immaturity of Western Christianity. That it was not for most people a transformational system, it was for most people a belonging system. My belonging system is better than your belonging system. And so what we fought about was the container and we got so invested in the container that many of our people never got to the contents. Never got to experience what it was all about. Everything was the forms, the forms, the forms. My forms are better than your forms. There's the Anglican form and the Roman form. And we'd waste time trying to prove that one was better than another instead of teaching people how to go into the mystery. And, and that is always formless. It is always a mixture of darkness and light where I, I can't explain it with perfect certitude. It took Julian 20 years of sitting here in her cell in Norwich, England to comprehend one night of religious experience. May 8, 1373, it's supposed to have happened in this city. And she enclosed herself in that little spot for 20 years to try to unpackage what had happened to her. And if you read her showings, there's just this constant ability to deal with paradox and mystery and darkness. And she doesn't insist on certitude or answers. She can let God be God. I want to end this by giving you...